He has died for you so that you and I can come freely, freely, and ask for forgiveness. Huh? And see, in the early church, there in the church of Asian Man, they was trying to teach them not to go and confess. Oh, but I'm here today to tell you, I'm here today to tell you that God loves us so much. Hmm? John urged us not to give up hope. Jesus Christ is our advocate. He's already paid the penalty for, uh, for any and every sin we have done and could do. We do not need to shy away, asking God to plead on our case. He already has worn your case. Hmm? Huh? So you walk around with your chest open. Huh? Hmm? Stick to the basics. Stick to the belief that Jesus Says, the Bible says that if you believe in Jesus, that he's the son of God and he has been risen from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. Stick to the basics. Stick to the basics of the scripture. It doesn't matter what you're going through. you got to hold on to the promises of God. Amen. Oh, what else is going on? What else is going on? Listen to what else. Here. Listen to what else. John's challenged them to, 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 to confess their sin. So that they can experience forgiveness. Then he tells them this right here. He tells them and he warns them about worldly value. Oh, y'all want me to say that again? Huh? He challenges them about worldly values. Oh, oh, we are reminded that uh, in verse uh, John chapter one, verse two, fifteen and seventeen. Read it and go. Uh, uh, write it down and read it. And go and read it later. We are reminded that most. More we are wrapped up in this world and the attraction, the harder it would be to establish spiritual growth. Hmm? Are y'all listening to me today? Huh? Huh? The more we are wrapped up in this world, the more we starve ourselves of spiritual growth. If we feed the desire, y'all, that the world has, then we will starve ourselves. The best way to avoid to engage in with the world value is to feed our spiritual God through prayer and, 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 and meditation of his word. And then we will discover, we will discover the, the true power of God. Amen. What do you mean? See, see, see he said to them in 1 John, love not the world, know the things of this world, right? Huh? Because if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. Oh, we got to stick to the basics, right? Huh? See, see, we are so caught up in the worldly values. Hmm? Y'all know what I'm talking about, huh? Hmm? Trying to keep up with the Joneses. Hmm? Yeah. Huh? Huh? When they get a Cadillac, I guess I got to get one. Are y'all listening to me today, huh? Worldly values. Let me, let, me, let me tell you something. Young people, listen to me today. If you're going to go to school, if you're going to become a doctor, whatever you're going to become, don't put your values on the world. Put your values on Jesus Christ. Say, I'm going to be a doctor for Jesus. I'm going to get an education so I can tell somebody about Jesus. Huh? Stop getting caught up with the world values and thinking that the things of this world is going to be okay for you. We forget, y'all, that these things in this world, these material things, are going to burn up. Hmm? So he challenged them not to love the world, nor the things in the world. Huh? Worldly values. Huh? We got to watch what we're looking at. Amen? Amen. Stop, stop, stop. Huh? Just because they're riding good don't mean everything's okay. Just because they're, they're looking good, it don't mean everything's okay. Right. That's right. The world is values. We value this world more than we value the things of God. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, I, I wish I had some help here today. I told you I'm going to shout a sermon, but that's all right. Huh? <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Huh? Now, let, 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 me, let me tell you this right here. See, even if you're working, and then I'm going to move on. Even if you're working, you're not working for the man that hired you. You're working for Jesus Christ. Huh? And so when you wake up every morning, you should thank God, first of all, that you woke up, and thank God that you're going to the job and then represent God at your job. Amen. The world tells you that you ain't got nothing because you got to go to work. But Jesus tells you you got something because you represent me and you're going to work 
to glorify me. Get that in your mind and see on your job be a whole lot better place for you. Hmm? See on God again to fight the battles at your job. Uh -huh. See on God again to move people out of the way so he can put you where you need to be. Because what he needs you at, somebody needs to be saved. I'm here to tell you today, stop valuing the world and valuing the things of God. So love not the world, nor the things in the world. The third thing, the third thing, y'all, we're almost done. Are y'all y'all ready for me to sit down? We're almost done. The third thing is this right here. The third thing is this right here. First John chapter 2, verse 18 through 23, he tells them the importance of right belief. We learn that the importance aspect of right belief is committed to the right belief. We are really, we are, we are really on the Holy Spirit. We, we rely on the Holy Spirit to know the truth. We are able to recognize the truth, the spirit of the devil. Are y'all listening to me today? Huh? Uh, on doctrine issue. For John was the John, John was that of the uh, John was trying to get them to see that they was trying to downgrade the power, saving grace of Jesus Christ. Huh? It's important, y'all. Are y'all listening to me? To have the right belief. Check this out. False teachers. Who, have, who John uh, correctly said that the people could throw off all moral restraint because of what they did in the body. It did not matter. Are y'all listening to me today? Those who listened to this message were beginning indifferent to sin and returning to the old sinful habit. They were, they were, they were, they were, they were returning back, y'all, to their own sinful habit. If you are not focused on Christ, if you don't go back to the basics, you'll find yourself drifting. Oh, are y'all listening to me? Drifting back to your old habits. Huh? The importance of the right belief. The right belief is to have Jesus before you, Jesus behind you, Jesus beneath you, Jesus in your heart. Because you and I ain't but one moment away from going back to who you were. Yeah. Come on, sir. Huh? On, sir. Huh? We ain't but one second away. And if we don't watch ourselves, we'll find ourselves drifting back to our old habits. So we gotta get and stick to the basics. What is the basics? Jesus says. Jesus says we gotta hold on to God's unchanging hand. What's happening in the church today? The old heads are dying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those who started up new life have left. Mm -hmm. Huh? And we find ourselves drifting away from the basics that you was taught. And that was so long to Jesus Christ. And everything. I'll ask them, I'll ask them, I'll ask them now to get ready to come to the close. Then John tells them about the assurance they had in Jesus Christ. It was told that the assurance of salvation comes from believing that Jesus is the Son of God. Because of that ability uh, to believe is proof that God himself, through the Holy Spirit, lives in us. Confession of who Christ is, both the evidence and expression of general faith. Uh, in more, it is more than intellectual belief. Believing that Christ is the Son of God and the Savior of the world leads us to confession of sin and commit to living for God. We do this and, tell, and take responsibility for our lives and deal with our past failures and deal with our broken relationships. Hmm? Huh? John was letting them know. First John, come on, play for me, Sam. He was letting them know. In first John chapter 4, verse 13 through 15. You got this assurance. What is this assurance? That if you believe in the Son of God, you have eternal life. Hmm? See, 
that's your assurance. Why? Because if you believe in the Son of God, then you are able to confess. If you believe in the Son of God, you are able to value the things of God over this world. If you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, then you are able to hold on to God's unchanging. Blessed the church. Jesus is mine. Amen. Amen. He had made great for his life. Jacob was his name. Huh? He had just robbed and took everything from his father later. And now he finds himself down by the brook. When you know your life is coming to an end, where do you run to? Jacob ran down to the brook. Mm -hmm. He sent his family in one direction and then another part of his family in another direction. He was afraid of his love. The Bible goes on to say while he was standing there, while he was kneeling there by the brook, the God man touched him on the shoulder. And the Bible tells us that Jacob began to fight for his very life. Have you ever been down to your last and you flat on your back? Mm. And you find yourself fighting for your life. Well. But as Jacob was resting, I oh, remember my blessed church. Jesus is mine, huh? <laughs> huh? Why Jacob was fighting there? Why Jacob was going through what he was going through down there? Uh, the, the God man started talking to him. And he said to him, Jacob, let me go. Uh, once Jacob realized, y'all, let me tell you something. This is when he realized that he was with God. The Bible said that God made a move on Jacob. He touched him in his thigh. And his thigh fell out of the sun. And Jacob realized right then. This ain't no ordinary man I'm talking with. This must be God. And he held on just a little bit longer. Oh, oh, represent that sometimes in this Christian life, you may not know Christ until you're crippled. And so Jacob, Jacob held on a little bit longer. Then God started talking to him. Jacob, let me go. Bless you. Jesus! Jacob, let me go. Bless the sugar. Jesus is mine. I ain't gonna let you go. I ain't gonna let you go. Bless the sugar. Jesus.
you stop having to do this in life? Question today. Do you want to experience the assurance of Jesus Christ? Amen. If you do, this is all you need to do. This is what you need to do. You need to confess your sin. You need to tell God all about it. And then you need to confess Jesus before me. Don't let nobody out. Knock you out of this thing. That's right. Don't drift away just because you got some problems in your life. Don't drift away because you can't get that thing right. That's your problem. You trying to get it right. Don't walk away because somebody said what you've done is good. That's all right. Jesus said, I'm going in the midst of the sea. And if it come back up, Jesus fight for you. Yes, he will. Don't let nobody trick you for believing that you are saved and believe that Jesus can save you. Because Jesus will help you in your Christian walk. Give you what you need. Give you the victory that you need. Give you overcoming power. Continue to remember. 